This was the scene at some of New Hampshire's state parks during the busy holiday weekend. Crowds slowly trekking up the trails to see the fall foliage. While fall tourism is nothing new for our state, Governor Chris Sununu says there has been a post-COVID surge in visitors. With social media, people tend to pinpoint the, the hot place or the hot thing in a single moment, and everyone wants to gravitate towards that. The influx of people creating some headaches in the North Country. Fish and Game reporting last week a delay in a call due to traffic. And Bartlett firefighters posting they too ran into traffic challenges. Now the Division of Parks and Recreation says it's looking to expand its existing crowd management strategies, including additional parking, shuttle services, and pre-arrival communications. Making sure we're not just highlighting just Lake Winnipesaukee, right? All the other lakes and, and ponds that are out there, or just Cannon Mountain, or just one lookout vista, all the hundreds that, that uh, of opportunities that are there. Meantime, if you are planning to hit the trails, come prepared. We've been running into issues with, you know, people coming up here not with the proper equipment. The state is reminding people that the weather is changing and it's important to bring the proper equipment. We're going to lose an hour of daylight for um, the afternoon, so. People just aren't bringing headlights, they're not bringing water, they're just not prepared for the cold weather. And now we did reach out to the Division of Parks and Recreation for a comment about these possible changes, but the director there referred us to the governor's office. By the way, some 4 million people are expected to visit New Hampshire this fall. Reporting live in Hooksit, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.